Welcome to another episode of the Tar Pack Podcast. Loaded week of NCAA tournament basketball for the Tar Heels and especially the Wolf Pack as they are heading to the Final Four amazingly. But first, we're going to get this over with. The horrendous second half from UNC uh, leads to an 89 to 87 loss to number four seed Alabama. The Tar Heels season is over. Uh, a real shame because uh, in the first half we played really good offensive basketball. Still could have played better defensively, but um, that kind of just comes with it with playing Alabama. Uh, but second half offensively was uh, absolutely atrocious. Uh, rough game for R.J. Davis. Maybe the worst of his career. Uh, definitely the worst of this year for him. Four for 20 is um, very, very bad. A 0 for 9 from 3. Harrison Ingram, 5 for 12. 12 points on the night with 9 rebounds and 5 assists. Armando Baycott had a decent shooting game but in and, and, and a double-double, but he misses too many open shots, man. Whether it's an open layup, uh, a slightly contested layup or shot around the basket, or straight up missing wide open dunks, it's just really shameful for Armando Baycott how he can't finish those as a fifth year senior at six foot eleven. Uh, but because that really hurt us in this game, Cormac Ryan had a, had a fantastic first half. I thought he should have got way more shots in the second half. And Seth Trimble and Elliot Cadeau should have both played more as well. Paxton Wojcik actually really did have a good game, but I think Seth Trimble and Elliot Cadeau should have had more minutes. But overall, a great season for the Torios. I'm proud of our performance. Getting back to a one seed and winning the ACC, uh, ACC regular season championship. Uh, but we just ran into a really good offensive team and played a terrible second half. So, uh... Yeah, that's gonna that's it for Carolina season. Hopefully, Armando is uh, gone, so hopefully we'll get a transfer center, either PJ Hall if he enters the transfer portal, or the maybe the center from uh, Stanford that transfer. That'd be nice. But maybe RG will come back. We'll see how it is. But we're gonna have a loaded team next year theoretically with two five-star freshmen coming in, and uh, most a, a good bit of these guys coming back. You would think. And now starting with the continuation of the great NC State run, starting with Friday night, good Friday game against Marquette, the 2 seed. We won 67-58. Muhammad Diaria, 4 for 6, 15 rebounds. This man is just insane on the board. DJ Burns, 2 for 4, 4 points. Didn't have an insane game, but I mean, it's not like he messed up either, really. Michael O'Connell, 3 for 10, 2 for 4. 8 point. Not the greatest game. DJ Horn, 6 for 15, 4 for 7 for 3. 19, pretty good game. Casey Morsell actually had a really good game. 7 for 12, 1 for 4, 15 point. Ben Middlebrooks, 2 for 2, 4 points. And yeah, Jaden Taylor, 2 for 7, 2 for 6 from 3. Six points. I mean, a pretty mid game there. So I'm honestly, other than DJ Horn, Casey Morsell, and Diaria just getting 15 rebounds, which is absolutely insane, really. Yeah, our offense was not super amazing, but I mean, it was good. It was good enough to give us the win. That's all that matters. And now going to NC State versus Duke, a weed eight. Diaria. I can't believe it only has seven rebounds, one for six. One of his worst games. But DJ Burns, the big man himself, the man saving America from UConn winning it. DJ Burns, he's going to do it all. 29 points, three for four. The man that's going to end Zach Eadie's whole career for NBA and everything, basically, after he gets absolutely cooked by the greatness of DJ Burns. That's going to be great to watch. And then... O'Connell, 2 for 7, 6 points, 1 for 4 from 3. Pretty mid game. DJ Horn, 7 for 16, 2 for 6 from 3, 20 points. Not the greatest game. He just shot a ton, so he still had 20. Casey Morsell, 2 for 6, 4 for 4 from free throw, 8 points. Ben Middlebrook, 2 for 5, 7 points. Jaden Taylor, 1 for 1, 3 points. And yeah. 
great run by the pack. Obviously, we're going to look ahead to the Final Four game on Saturday at 609%. The disrespect is insane. Um, They gave us 10%. So even though we already made it to the Final Four and we're at like a 9-0 run, I'm pretty sure, or 8-0. No, I'm pretty sure 9-0 run. And we still only get a 10% chance. Doesn't matter that they're the one seed. We're here. We beat a one seed in the ACC championship. We beat Duke. We beat enough players. We beat Marquette. We beat a team that beat Kentucky, which obviously shows that they're not bad. And yeah, obviously I'm going to pick NC State to win the game. DJ Burns is going to show his real self. And no anything to Zach Eady. He's a great player. But DJ Burns is just going to cook. The whole world's on our side, except for maybe some opposite fans of people in North Carolina. But I mean, if you do not, if you're not a fan of Alabama, Purdue, or UConn, and you do not live in the state of North Carolina as not a state fan, you're cheering for NC State in this tournament. It's just the truth. If you do not live in North Carolina, or yeah, Purdue, Alabama, and UConn. You're cheering for NC State, the upset, obviously. In this matchup, we get fat versus tall. It's going to be an elite matchup. D uh, DJ Burns, like 642 pounds, versus Zach Eady, 1,500 feet tall. It's going to be an elite matchup. No body shaming height in this, but I mean, yeah, he is like 280. We know that. And yeah, Zach Eady's like 7. Four, I guess. And I'm sorry, that man is not 280 pounds. That's why I said he on is, the side. He is 6'9", and it looks like that. He is not 280 pounds. Can there are linebackers in the NFL that are 6'3", like 270. But that's what the know. internet says. Well, I'm not, yeah, I know. People, like schools, lie with their height and weight all the time. But anyways, I'm going with, believe it or not, I'm going with NC State as well, I think. If you can, I, it's going to be tough to stop Zach Eady. But if you do that, Fletcher Lawyer and Braden Smith and all those guys have to do a lot of work, which they are capable of doing, but we'll see. I think I'm going with NC State in this one. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of the Tar Pack Podcast. We will see you guys next week to see if NC State has won a championship. And my championship prediction, NC State's going to beat UConn. Go Heels.